up a little bit today, but had a real good wind for this spot. Set this stand up. Oh, I came in here one day a week, week and a half ago, messed around and forgot my climbing belt. So I wasn't able to put it up high as I wanted. I hunted out of it that day and saw four or five deer, or maybe five or six. I came back in the other day with my belt. And came up a little higher. I'm only about two steps. About two sticks, climbing sticks with eighters. I was on maybe 12 feet high. I can see out in this bean field real good. Winds in my face. Tracks are all along the edge of this field. Got a camera right here below me. Forgot to bring my card reader, but um, didn't show, but it had four or five pictures on it since I checked it. So I'll take the card out with me and check it tonight. Last time I checked it, it was just a few does, but not real far from where Presley ran a camera early before the season. Had a really, really good buck. One of the best bucks we've got on camera yet this year <clears throat> in this area. So just be a about pure luck for him to walk by, but you got to be here to kill him. So we're going to give it a shot. We've got a few hours for dark. three yards. Well, I made a terrible shot. She must have turned. <clears throat> she must have turned just as soon as I shot. 
Maybe jump string a little bit. Y'all look at that shot. Straight in the neck. Straight down through to the heart. I no wonder she didn't go anywhere. Man. Y'all see right here where I was set up. I showed you. Wasn't very high. I didn't have but two sticks up. But right there in that lone wolf custom. 0.75. I had a big green of trees right here anything come out of this corner here couldn't see me till they got over here she came out was real feeding right in here she decided she'd make a beeline right here though i can't uh can't pass up that kind of that kind of easy shot but man i don't know what happened she i had to look back at the video she must have turned golly Never hit one in right in the neck like that, but can't complain when it's laying there. No meat lost on that one, so don't need Maggie to try track either. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna run to the truck, see if I can't find me some rope or something to uh, hook to her and drag her. I gotta go down a creek crossing that's got a steep hill on the other side. I had to drag her up, but see if we can't get, to get her out of here. All right, y'all, this is what I gotta cross with this deer killed in that bean field out there. I gotta bring her down through here. Can't get the truck or anything down in there. So I got my lineman's belt on and my uh, my lineman's belt and my lineman's rope. What I'm gonna do, I gotta get, take my knife with me. I gotta get in there and I'm gonna have to just drag her down and bring her down here and drag her up the hill on my belt. I'm gonna leave the camera running here. Y'all watch this mess. I may end up in that water down there. Oh man, let's go. Maggie, put it on the deer. Maggie, put it against me. Alright, y'all. A little bit more to go. Maggie, quit pulling. Hey. drive y'all man pull it another way hey pull against me made it up here fighting Maggie the whole time you know, got her this close I might hook this rope to the ball of my truck and pull her on up here further where it's easier to load what you got Maggie alright y'all we got her loaded that'll teach Maggie to pull toward the truck not away from the truck Thanks being along and let her go see every deer we get even if we don't need to track it but anyway broke the ice first doe of the year look back at the footage the 
deer was quartered to me a little more than I thought. So I, I was off just a couple inches to the left. Shot right into her neck, but giving there broke her spine. I mean, she dropped like a 300 wind mag hit her, so you can't complain about that, but I gotta make sure I take a better shot next time. That could have been bad, but she's in the truck, headed to the processors. Short video, hope y'all enjoyed it. Did see a few other deer right after I shot that deer. Uh, I didn't want to wait too long. I knew I was going to drag her through that through that creek bed and then want to do it in the dark. So we headed out. We appreciate y'all watching. Been a lot of deer hunting this year. See some deer right there. But uh, just getting started. Probably gonna stick with the bow like we did last year. Jake and I have been talking about some muzzleloader stuff. We're gonna try something I can use up in Illinois too. We'll try a new combination of powder and bullets. So looking for that soon. And uh, uh, and uh, don't forget about our whitetail deer hunt raffle too. Still got some tickets available at our website. So uh, also got some new hats coming real soon. So check that out. It's HollisFarms.com. Thank y'all.